it's about time. <coughs> hey, my name is Izumi, and it's been a while. A pretty long while. Didn't go anywhere, just never bought a new figure in that time. Until now! Was at a local anime convention, a this one walked up to a booth with a bunch of Bandai merch, you know, Gunpla kits, SH figure arts. And then at the corner of my eye, right next to the monster arts Godzilla and Kong. Oh. Fancy seeing you here. Asked them for a price and surprisingly it was over $50 cheaper than what I expected. Turns out the guy who paid for the deposit of this guy bailed out on paying out the rest. So here's just this one loan unit that was setting at balance price and in the employee's own words was Hard to find someone who likes it. But sure enough, there I was. And I think at this point, you guys know what I feel about, you know, this here Final Wars guy again. It's empty! And thus, we have... Gigan! Great decisive battle version, okay. From what I've heard, it's basically a repaint redux of the original release with added accessories. And if that's the case, the painting and sculpting, excellent stuff. Selling that robotic alien aesthetic, Gigan rocks, sleek metallic dark blues alongside nicely shaded metal parts, appropriately flat reds on his sails, and that compound eye detail behind the translucent plastic visor, ugh, so good. Only thing here is the teeth. Kind of sloppy. See how thick and haphazard that looks? But overall, Gigan here's got a lot going for him. This figure does come with an instruction manual, although in Japanese. But it made me wonder, why didn't my older SH Monstrats have those? Well, yeah, they don't have accessories. Which Gigan has in a plethora of. First, you have his grappling hooks, which run on bendy wires. Just pull out the original hooks like so and install them right in. Flexible for when you want your enemies tied up. Next, we have the effect piece for his cluster light beam, which comes with a ball jointed stand. It was a little difficult and scary installing the effect onto the ball joint, so just a heads up. The rest of the accessories are of his second form, which includes some new jagged head parts, his twin chainsaw hands, and viscerally a new neck piece. Which means, yes, the head and neck has to come off. Now to swap out the horn and his mandibles, his claw hands for the chainsaws, install a new neck with the head, and boom, form two. As if he couldn't get any edgier, here he is with sharper parts and twin chainsaws that can rotate via a rubber track. <laughs> I'm sold. And if you're still not sold, then posability. Ball right around the head and the neck. Can look about up that far and then down that far. Little jaw hinge movement, as you can see. Torso can be a tad bit stiff, no thanks to the buzzsaw here. Sails can move left and right, as well as up and down. Shoulders can move about as such. Double jointed elbows and a ball jointed tool arm. Legs can kick about this much and moves about this far back. A decent enough spread. Knees can bend about that much and all the funky action that goes around with the foot and toe. And then comes this 13 ball jointed tail. Talk about solid flexibility. And best of all, he's of a really good size. Here's Ronko 94 Karumi and all of the Monster Arts Godzilla's all at once, why not? Honestly, what's not to love about this guy? He's got the looks, he's got the playable parts. This Gigan gets a well-deserved yes. Now that's not to say everyone's gonna be as lucky as me to be able to get it for cheaper than retail price. But if you're a Gigan fan, this guy's not gonna have any trouble sitting right in your collection. Ow, the edge. <laughs> what a throwback, honestly.